How you doing guys? And welcome back. And it's one o'clock. You know, let me adjust this. And it's funny because I'm using my other uh phone today. Because my my yesterday my phone got wet uh at the sandbar. So I gotta use my old uh um, cracked screen phone. So it's gonna be kind of fun using it, but it's okay. It's okay, and it's Monday, and it's time to have some fun in the live stream. And um, by the way, uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. And I know, I know I told you guys that I was going to Bimini this weekend. And I'm going to tell you guys a story, what happened with uh, with with, uh, with the Bimini story. Okay, so I'm getting everything prepared. Now, comes Thursday, I checked the weather, the weather report, and it said that Saturday and Sunday was going to be raining 100% really bad and thunderstorms so i didn't want to take a chance you know crossing over to bimini and getting stuck in a you know in a bad storm especially in the, in the, in the gulf stream so i decided to uh not go but i said you know what i prefer to be wet at the sandbar that you know get wet here on the rain at home because you know you know me i like to be at the sandbar so i went over we went out saturday saturday to the sandbar and when we get there first of all saturday during the day if you guys noticed it was beautiful and then we get to the sandbar and it was you know gorgeous we got there kind of late we got there like around four o'clock in the afternoon and i decided to say you know what let me take a peek outside so i went outside of the inlet and guess what it was per perfect perfect flat so i was a little bit disappointed uh because like i said i was planning to go and i didn't go because of the weather report that i got on thursday so, I mean, I know you can't really predict nat nature, and I know uh, the meteorologists try to do the best they could do to predict the weather using whatever, the computers and all that, but you can't, I think you can't really predict uh, nature, especially the weather, and especially Miami weather, because they could say it's a beautiful day today, and it's a crazy within two seconds. So, um, but yeah, so we went, we did go on the boat on, on the weekend, we went over to uh in sandbar and that late in the afternoon we went fishing uh caught some uh pretty nice yellowtails and uh we didn't a lot of my friends are catching dolphins but we didn't go far enough we stayed inland because since we were planning to you know, stay over at night we didn't want to go um you know we wouldn't want to go out so far so you know like i said we hanged out fishing for a little bit and we came in and then sunday sunday was another beautiful day except for towards the afternoon it really it really got crazy with the weather. So I guess they predicted the weather halfway right, halfway wrong. So, uh, and it's funny because I never recorded uh, really, really bad weather, well, being in the bad weather. So it's gonna be kind of fun and new for you guys uh, to see. So, and yep, it's Monday. And guess what? Guess what this box is? Is the drawing, the drawing for the giveaway. The giveaway for, um, the Salt Life and the Fresco channel. Oh, you know what? I forgot to bring the merchandise out here. <laughs> running a little crazy. Running a little crazy. And Cito's running late because he told me he was going to help me, but he's running a little bit late. Um, so, um, we're going to do the drawing. And you know me. I'm old school. Uh, and this is what I'm going to do. I put everybody's name. That, by the way, I had about, I think it was about 300 and something entries. Um, that was, that's great. I'm glad you guys, uh, you know, entered. And a lot of people did a lot of a lot of it wrong, but anyway, it didn't matter. The the rules were you're supposed to uh, take the post from YouTube and put it on Instagram and tag me. A, a few a lot of people did it, but a lot of people send me direct messages, put it on the live stream directly to me. I mean, I mean, on the the direct message to me. I mean, it was it was all over the place, but it, it was fine. What I did was I took everybody's name and I still stuck it in the box so um, I'm just trying to get everything out of the way first before I start answering questions um, so what I did was I had to sit this morning and start cutting out everybody's name and I put everybody's name in a piece of paper inside the box so it was kind of fun it reminded me when I was in kindergarten cutting cutting little things so um, but I don't I have, that's the only way I know how to do it so far uh, to be fair or to be you know right with people so I know there's apps and websites, but those apps and websites normally take the people's information. So I know everybody, I know you guys, I might, I must get like 10 calls a day 
and emails with uh, trying to promote stuff to me. So I didn't, you know, I don't want to use those websites or those um, or those apps because all you're gonna get is bombarded with with uh, commercials. So I try to do it the old way. Um, so I did it here, and um, I was what I'm, I am waiting for Cito to kind of help me along. Uh, but he's running late, you know. It's uh, Cuban time. I'll be there in ten minutes, and it's an hour later. So, so um, I'm gonna go ahead, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm gonna, I guess let me let me put the phone down some. Um, let me put the phone down some. You guys can see. Okay, I'm gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. The box, shake it, shake it. Remember, it's five things. It's three stats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and give give an option to you guys. Once I draw the name, you guys have the option to get a shirt. I mean a tank top or, or the hat it doesn't really matter you know if whatever uh whatever you, you desire the color and stuff um you know it's up to you and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna post the winner i'm gonna post it on the description here on the live stream i'm gonna post it on instagram and i'm gonna post it on the community oh by the way i got a lot of questions where they ask me uh what is the community community is like um i guess you want to call it like an instagram but on youtube that that they do is um what do you call it they uh they try i guess they're trying to keep up with everybody because facebook has it instagram has it they do the stories and posts and all that stuff so youtube does it too but it's called community because a lot of people are asking me what is the community on youtube so that's what it is so um shake it shake it shake it shake it now <laughs> i'm gonna stick my hand in. all right let me shake it let me shake it more with my hand okay i got the first person okay the first person is Lil Cove I guess Lil Clove I don't know if I say your name right let me get it close to the camera that's the first person that you know that's drawing so what I'm like I said I'm gonna do is this uh, I'm gonna post these names on Instagram and on YouTube and you guys could uh, go ahead and give me uh, your information uh, oh by the way I'm gonna give you guys five days five days from today that when I when I post uh, the winner, you guys have to send me your information, just your uh, you know shipping information, so I can ship out the shirts to you guys. So that's one person. Put it here. Let me go shake it, shake it. Let me go to the next person. <laughs> uh, all right, this one is, uh, I guess HQ Man sixty nine. H, was it? HQ Man sixty nine. That's the second winner let me get leave it here let me shake it shake it one more one shake it shake it one more shake it shake it shake it shake it okay let me get ah so a bunch of little things in there okay we got the third person it's sumia i guess sumia i'm sorry if i'm saying it wrong 28 this is the third person i don't know if you guys can see it there that's uh the third person oh for the drawing make sure it don't fly away let me shake it, 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 shake it. All right, let me get. Uh, it's a lot of little things in here. Woo! <laughs> Can't fall on my hand long. Okay, this one is. This is the fourth person. Dirty. Uh, IPM. I mean IP. Blah, blah, blah. IMP. IMP sounds like fifty cents. This is the fourth person. Uh dirty imp that's the fourth person now this is the last person let me shake it shake it shake it <laughs> shake it shake it shake it oh mosquitoes are killing me back here shake it shake it shake it i don't know let me shake it more let me shake it shake it okay and let me go luggy luggy all right and the la the last person is outdoor outdoor fam outdoor fam is the fifth person so we got the five winners uh so remember guys i'm gonna post these five names on the whoop on the on the description on youtube and on my instagram and on the community i gotta save them now so like that you guys go ahead and email me your shipping address you know and i'm, I'm gonna and then i show shipping address and what do you want you want the hat or you want the tank top and the size and the color so remember tell me the size of the shirt well tank top the size of the tank top um the size and the color that you want and the hat 
uh, well, the hat is either black or um, the cam was a camel blue. So you got to tell me which one you want, the hat, the black hat or the camel blue. And I would give my favorite hat away, not my favorite, but the most common hat is the red Fresco Channel hat. But the problem is so many people buy them that I run short all the time and I don't have none. And, uh, you know, to give away right now. So I got to order more. So I'm in the process of uh, doing that. And if you guys have visited Fresco Channel, I got to put this somewhere that it doesn't fly away. Um, hmm. I guess I'll put it here in the meantime. Hopefully it doesn't fly away. Um, if you guys notice, uh, on frescochannel.com, I have new merchandise. I uh, have the new uh, Sandbar Life hats. There's a lot of hats because uh, me, personally, I like wearing a lot of hats, especially when I'm out, out in the sun. I don't want my hair, I'm sorry, my head <laughs> to get burned. So I wear a lot of hats. So that's why I, you know, I try to do a lot of hats because I wear them too. So there's a lot of new um, Sandbar Life um, hats on the website. So there's a lot to choose from. Oh, and another thing, to a, lot, a few people have commented to me about, um, um, about girl merchandise. I'm working on that uh, because I have the t-shirts and stuff, but I know girls like to wear fitted stuff. Um, and I'm going by Ogita's suggestion. So I'm trying to get uh, more fitted, um, I guess you want to call it tighter clothes, because I know women like wearing, you know, sexier clothes. Well, most women, I'm not saying all women, but most women I like wearing, uh, you know, fitted. So I haven't found the right product yet. And I haven't found the right uh, ba bikini company. Uh, so far, the ones I spoke to, they're kind of giving me the runaround, and you know, so maybe in the future, somebody else, uh, you know, I mean, I'm still reaching out to the companies, but I guess they're gonna give me, you know, it's a bunch of email stuff, and I tell them, look, I'm old school, forget the email, here's my number, call me, and they don't return the call. They want to do through everything through email, so I get a lot of emails, so maybe I skip them or, uh, you know, I delay and answer them back, so I. Uh, give me a run around so maybe it's my fault but you know but that's something i'm working on because yeah a lot of people are asking me to do uh girl girl merchandise uh that's why right now all i have is shirts and then the tank tops that i that i picked out from the company that that i work with they're really cool because they're multicolored. i don't like uh for girls i like more lively colors for women and um uh, they they did they, they were out of they were out of um what do you call it? They were out of um, uh, discontinued. So I don't want to buy something and then I can't order anymore. So I have to keep looking. But yeah, and by the way, I think somebody has asked me about the winner in one of the comments. I don't know, I guess try to do the comment again. Sorry about the noise, I'm outside. Uh, yeah, I did the I did the drawing already. Uh, I have the five winners. I'm gonna say I'm gonna show them again. Oops, let me turn this around. Yeah, you know, I'm old school. I do raffles. They got Hialeah, Hialeah, La Casa. Oh, talk about Hialeah. I don't know if you guys remember from the last last time the live stream, I met, um, well, not met, uh, talking on the live stream, uh, a, for, uh, a teenager, uh, you know, a young uh, uh, fan, uh, subscriber. He uh, he, he was uh, asking me questions about the jet ski license and about jet ski stuff. And it's funny because I met him at the sandbar personally at uh this weekend so it's pretty cool i was excited and uh you know and i told him you know more or less the safety tips on the jet skis so let me go back with the whoop, with the names yeah i gotta make sure I don't lose. but this these are the names and don't worry guys i'm gonna post them i'm gonna post them on the i'm gonna post them on the on the on the description of the live stream and on instagram and on the community and everything so am i gonna raffle my boat Sure, each raffle is gonna cost a hundred thousand. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah, that, that was um, I, <laughs> that that's a good idea. If I raffle my boat um for a hundred thousand, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, saludo, gracias. Somebody just reminded me. Thank you, everybody. I reached a hundred and ninety thousand uh, subscribers. Well, I want to call them friends uh, because so far out of the hundred and ninety thousand, I've met a lot of people, and so far everybody's been good people. You know, it's been nice, and it's. I'm glad that everybody loves the boating uh, environment. You know, even if you don't have a boat, because I've spoken to a few people, they don't have boats, but they go, they go with their friends, or they rent a kayak, or they just um, charter the boat. 
So um, it's nice. It's nice to meet and know people that share the same, same thing in common. Because I was noticing there's car clubs, there's motorcycle clubs, there's, uh, you know, video game clubs. There's all kind of clubs. But that I'm aware of, other than the poker run, there's no book club. So I'm kind of glad I'm bringing people together, uh, you know, with the same likes. And, um, oh, thank you, Jeff. Thank you for saying that. Mash that button like. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm glad I'm bringing the boating community together uh, because I met, I, I met up uh, this weekend. I met, even for the bad weather, I still met a lot of people that enjoy the boating like I do. And they have family. And the funny thing is they come up to the boat and they say, yo, man, I watch your channel. I like what you're doing. And here, you know, whatever, me and my wife, and this is my kids, and my kids wants to meet your kids. So that's pretty cool, you know. Uh, so that's, that's really nice that the whole family gets to enjoy the channel, uh, you know, even kids wise. And I know sometimes I don't put kid-friendly stuff, meaning some uh, adult video, like party stuff. But anyway, you know, that's just, once they grow up, they'll realize that once they get to adult stuff, you do adult things. Um, but... You know, I try to I try to keep it friendly. Right, let me get let me get to the to the comments. Okay. Oh yeah, shout out for Yamil. Oh Yamil, come on that. Yes, I met uh come on Yamil. Uh let me see if I read your wife's ah, same for the and the wife and I agree. Right for the boat. Uh with <laughs> with the sales figure. Yeah, that's true. Uh what's my IG? My, somebody just asked me what's my Instagram, the easiest thing, Freco Channel. Everywhere you type out Freco Channel, you're gonna see my little head. So uh Twitter, everything, everything is Freco Channel, Freco Channel. And oh, let me see. And what's up, Fresco? You're from your Boricua sounds. Uh, oh, Boricua, Sam, uh, brother from Massachusetts. How are you doing? Boricua, no, I'm Cuban. I don't know if that question was. I'm from Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans, they call it, you know, they call Bori, uh, Boricua. But no, I'm, what do you call it? I'm Cuban. I'm Cuban, not Puerto Rican. Miss Sam, bro, what's up? Uh, so cold weekend in Massachusetts. Oh, it was cold in Massachusetts. Well, here it was still hot, muggy, humid, and rainy. So far out of the seven days, it's raining like four. So, but you know, that's something you have to deal with living in South Florida. Can you do some uh, show us? Uh, let me see. I uh, see somebody asked me, Can I do a show on real estate? Uh, show, I don't know what exactly what you mean, a show on real estate. But uh, hey, how you doing? How you doing, Justin Garcia? How you doing, Justin? Uh, Justin, you my Justin, um, come on, Justin, uh, Joy's friend. <laughs> I guess I let me see. Let me see what I, wow, South Africa. Wow, that's far. How you doing from South Africa? Uh, let me see. Uh, Keys Island Runner. Cito, que wala. Oh, Cito. What? You guys, are, look, look, look at this. They just put Cito. What up? And he just got here. What's see, up? He's, he's running on that Cuban time. Cuban time with the Cuban coffee. There you go. Uh, he was, you know, him who's partying too much last night and he woke up late. So <laughs> it was his fault. Yeah. <laughs> let me see. Oh, yeah. Shout out to your mili. Oh, Rene, what's up from CT Scan? Oh, what's up, CT Scan? Love the channel. Congrats. Thank you, man. CD scan. My ex brother in law does CD scans. So that's pretty cool. And the Aventura. Like scanning and CDs? CD scans? No, man. <laughs> <laughs> CD scans. When, I think remember, the CD scans is that this, uh, it's a di diagnostic machine that the medical, uh, uh, what do you call it? The medical uh, people use. And my brother in law used to do uh, CD CDT and MIs. And shout out to you guys. That's a good. That's a good career to have, make a lot of money, <laughs> and a lot of overtime, and a lot of on calls. So it's, it's a good career to have. But somebody asked me a question about real estate. Uh, I don't know how. I mean, I can answer any question that I know to my knowledge in real estate. But I don't know. Let me see. Saludo de, de Puerto. I guess Puerto Rico la casa, comanda. Moving south. Let me see. Moving to South Beach soon. Can't wait. That's cool, man. So you're ready to party if you're on the South Beach that and ready to fight for the parking. Marlena said that. But let me see what's up with the see, where's the kids? The kids are inside the house. Ooh, they got school coming up. Yes, that's when my vacation starts. Your vacation starts when the school? Yes. <laughs> Why is that? Because I'm a daycare coordinator <laughs> during the summertime. Mr. <laughs> Africa, uh, could I have your well, what? Hey, could I what? Your whole family's name? your what, whole what family's name? name? I couldn't uh, get that well, last one. Hey, I could name your whole family. Oh, you can name my whole family, okay. Name them. See if you got it. <laughs> oh, look. Marco's in the chat, man. See, don't need the CD scan. <laughs> up? That's Marco from 37th Street. What's up, man? Oh, for real? Yeah, old school Marcos. Oh, oh, what's up, Marcos? Oh, so you, I didn't know he does into I thought you were into real estate. I didn't know you do into... Uh, Marcos? Yeah. That's what I thought he was. He's coming from... See, Fresco. 
please say hi to what? I guess your girlfriend, Nikki. She's starting to watch you. Okay, Nikki, how you doing? The boyfriend told me to say hi. Thank you for joining us. Robert Gonzalez is fresco. Dame luz. Dame luz. Shout out. Oh, Fresco. Robert, Robert, Robert Gonzalez. Oh, Robert Gonzalez. Shout out to Robert Gonzalez. Let me see what's up with Fresco. Cido from Saint. Oh, Cido from Saint Cloud. Happy what? Happy birthday it's from my wife. Uh, what is it? I lost the uh, <laughs> comments going too fast, and I'm using the crack screen phone. Oh, mosquitoes! Michael says he is a real, a real Oh, but he carried, but he said he used to carry DJ crates for us back in the days. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Uh, there was a shout out for someone on the lady's Where? birthday. I'm trying to get that. Yeah, birthday Jack. Birthday shout, shout out. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, then, uh, that was up. Oh yeah. It says what's up, Fresco and Cito from Saint Cloud. Happy birthday to my wife, Jeanette. Jeanette, shout happy birthday. Jeanette, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Have a, a good birthday. And tell your boyfriend or your husband, your birthday lasts a whole week, so he has to treat you good the whole week. And then if you're lucky, the whole month. <laughs> Whoa, snap. Hey, Night Beer Bliss said thanks for the jet ski tips the, on the other videos. Oh, okay. Thank oh, by the way, I met another, I met a guy. This Of all the weekends that I've met people, this weekend, I think that I met the most people. That was pretty cool. Where'd you uh, go? I, I went, no, I was at the hangover, but... I met a lot of people. I guess a lot of people more uh, less embarrassed or more courage. More comfortable. You know, and they're coming to say hi, you know, and 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 meet, you know, they're coming with their family to meet my family. So that's pretty cool. And like that, uh, so far, the like four people that, you know, that want to go together with me to Bimini when I plan to go. So that's pretty cool. That's cool, so, man. So, a little yeah. squad go out there. Yes, yeah, like that because, I mean, you, it, it's always better to go with another boat just in case you don't know what happens. Uh, let me That's see true. if it has been uh, with Cape yeah. Town in South Africa. It's wow, South Africa. Cape Town, there's a song, uh, I think it's uh, I forgot what group they talk about. I think it's UB40. I forgot the name of the group. Mm, uh, Cape know. Town, Cape Town. Oh, does this thing fly away? Oh, no, okay, yeah. I, I did okay. the drawing already. I did Yo. the drawing, but I don't want to fly. You did? Away. Yeah, yeah. You did the drawings. Who won already? We got to redo a recap of that. Oh, yeah, well, I'm gonna pull, pull. Yeah. Yo, oh look, Bogota, Colombia. Uh, let me see, what up from Bogota? I'm going back home to Miami next month. I wanted to know what you think about jet ski boats or jet boats and about using them down in the sandbars in Miami. For Is it good for beginner fishing? Well, jet ski, now I know now the jet skis are more equipped for fishing, but I really, I really wouldn't use a jet ski to go use fishing. I mean, you could use a jet boat to do both, hang out at the sandbar and go fishing, but a jet boat price, you could get a good sized boat. Oh my god, that's so true. I recently went to go look at one. They're expensive. Yeah, so it, I mean not putting the jet boat community down, but the jet boats are small and they're expensive. I would prefer to get a, a bigger boat for the same amount of money. So, you know, really do your homework, you know, with the jet boat versus uh you know regular boat. But I mean if you're gonna start, let's say, from the smallest thing, I would start off with a jet boat because you can do both things. You can hang out with your friends, you go by yourself, it's easy to manage. Uh you're gonna less you're gonna burn less fuel so i mean jet boat has its pros and cons but uh just price wise i to me i think they're very expensive to be such a little boat but you know everybody you get really shallow water with them yeah that's another yeah that's true too you can get to shallow water uh i mean not to promote uh any boat company but i mean something as if you want to buy something brand new you can get like a 17 foot mako little boat they i think it sits like six people uh i mean the jet boat's safer because they're designed to take water for water, but you're gonna pay like less than twenty thousand for a seventeen, a 17 footer versus a jet boat's gonna be like forty grand and up. So you know you do you do you know do your homework and decide really what you want. You know that that's uh, that's why I tell everybody don't you know focus on what you're gonna do the most boating. Let me go back to the comments. How far is the boat the ride to the sandbar? How far is the boat? To how far is the boat ride to the sandbar? Depends where you jump. Yeah, it depends on marina, but let's say you're gonna go to Halova Marina. From Halova Marina to Halova Sandbar, I say less than 10 minutes. So a lot of people are using Halova Marina because of the gas. You know, you just basically turn on the motor, put it forward, take it off, cruise, and you're right into the sandbar. Yo, it's pretty close. Uh, Lazaro Garcia says he's your neighbor. What up, bro? Hey, what's up, what's up? Uh, oh, you're the neighbor from the park that I made at the at the, the sandbar this weekend, I'm not sure if it was you, but I met a neighbor that I didn't, he lives like maybe three blocks, no, he lives by the park by my house. So it's like four or five blocks. 
So it was pretty cool. He does boating too, and he's been watching the channel. So, so Mike thank G you. from New Jersey says, "What up?" And then we're rocking. And thank you, bro. He says, "Cedo rocks," and you guys were doing great. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. Who else? Thank you. And um, let me see. Uh, talking about videos coming up. Let me see videos coming up. I have uh the the weekend video with the boat that you guys are gonna see. The Miami weather. It was crazy. It looked like a hurricane formed in two seconds, and we got hit with it. Oh, it's, uh, you it's in the water when it happened? Yeah. When all that crazy stuff on Sunday was still in the water. Did you videotape? Yeah. Ooh, you guys gonna see that? I wanna see that. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy because if you guys been to Halover, if you're sitting on a sandbar, you can see all the cars at Halover Park, and it was raining so hard you couldn't see that not even the gas station at Halover. It was raining so hard. Let um, me see. Okay, remember uh, I meet you in the. Oh, um, oh yeah. Okay, you met me. You and your dad. Okay. Uh, yeah, I remember. I remember. How you doing, man? How you doing? Nice to meet you guys in person. It's, it's always nice to meet you guys, you know, uh, people that like the, the channel, meet you guys in person. And um, and again, and again, people ask me, how can we help the channel? And the easiest free thing is go ahead and share the video. Any video you guys like, it doesn't matter if it's an old one, if it's a new one, share it on your social media. And that's how you guys can help me for free. You know? Here's a really good question, man. Uh, Jose uh, Avalos is asking, yo, Fresco, what do you th what's your opinion on carrying a lot of people on your boat? That's a oh. really good question, especially in Miami. Because <laughs> yeah, everybody well, wants to party. Yeah, well, make sure, first of all, make sure your boat is going to have a sticker somewhere by the manufacturer. What's your boat capacity or weight per person? So you got to do that first. You know, if, you, if your boat doesn't have it because somebody took it off, check online. And for every person you have, you have to have a life vest on hand. So, for example, 10 people, 10 life vests. Uh, oh, and another thing, a lot of people get confused about this, and it took me, it took me um, a Marine Patrol to uh, let me know this a long time ago when I used to do my boating, because I know everybody, everybody has a boat, in the boat, a square cushion that is always flying around or getting kicked around or in the way, but that cushion, by law, you have to have it accessible near and be seen, because that's the throw cushion, that's if something, is someone sinking, or your boat is sinking, or somebody's drowning, that's the cushion you have to throw. And by law, you have to keep it's, it visible. It's a square the, with two little handles. Yeah, right? that I know I have, I have a whole bunch of them, and I used to have them in the backyard. You don't have them in the Carrera? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I have them in the Carrera, and I have them in the, in the, on, the, on, the, on the Hydro Sport. But that's it. I know you guys put it away, but you guys, you guys have to have it. it. Is it it? Nah, it's okay. Um, it's a square one. But right. yeah, something you guys have to have it accessible because that's your throw cushion. And... And another thing that I, I talk, you know, with a lot of people on the sandbar, something that if you guys don't know about boat rules, um, if, if you're passing by somebody and they flag you down because they need assistance, their boat is sinking or somebody's hurt or whatever, by, by the boating law, you have to uh, help them, help them. And if you don't, if you don't, if they get, get your FO numbers, you're going to get in trouble. So just be a good human and when you see somebody in trouble, just pull over, uh, you know, just pull over and help them because it's the law. It's, and, and it's you, boat courtesy. And it's boat courtesy too. Boat courtesy. So, uh, I mean, I helped. Uh, actually, I was going a long time ago. I was going, are you, I don't know if you're with me. I don't know if you're with me. I was going to the Air and Sea show and somebody came by me. I mean, I came by them and they were waving. So I thought they were saying hi, but I noticed they kept on waving. So just out of curiosity, I turned them on and uh, their boat was sinking because their inboard motor blew up and the piston went right through the floor. So little by little, it was sinking. So I pulled over, I didn't know. And then, you know, they hopped on my boat. I called um, the, what do you call it? The, the, the Coast Guard and they came to help. And then once the Coast Guard came, they aborted their boat. And then I, you know, I left. But that was something I did out of just being curious. And actually I wound up helping them. So, you know, just be curious because it's not like land. Your car breaks, you can walk. You, you know, you can't swim that far in the ocean. So and not everybody that's on a boat can swim. No, yeah, that's true too. They depend on the floating device. Oh, and another thing that a lot of people are questioning um, about the boats and the kids and the and the life vests. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think uh, if you're under 27 foot, the law is different. If you're over 27 foot, the law is different too. If you're under 27 and the kid is under six years old, you have to wear the life vest all time. And if you're over 27, uh, the kid. The kid, um, the kid oh, over six doesn't have to wear the vest. So I have to really check on the law. But, yeah, you got to be careful. But the best thing with kids, 
I don't do it with my kids anymore because my kids, the youngest one is 11, and all my kids know how to swim because they know how to swim and they know how to float. Basically, floating is better than swimming. But if your kids don't know, just stick them a life vest, you know, on them. Hooked and Rolling Offshore 2009 says uh, that the, the floaties have to be Coast Guard proofed. Oh, yeah, that, that's true. But, I mean, when you buy, like, a West Marine, Walmart, you're going to see a big stick around there. They're all going to be. <laughs> they're they're, they're going to say Coast Guard approved, and so is the life vest. Yeah. Even the ugly ones, the ones that wrap around your neck, they're so uncomfortable. But they do save your life, you know. Uh, so just just have them. And, um, because what happened is, it, like, going back to the question about a lot of people on the boat, you got to be careful because too much weight, you know, it makes it harder to steer the boat and people will get hurt, you know, so you got to be careful. Uh, top of the morning from Stephen, Washington, D.C. in the house. Uh, Mike G says, Seals, when, when is your next music video coming out? You're talking to the director right here. <laughs> He's directing uh, my next video. We're working on something and we're going to put it through, uh, through the Fresco channel, see if you guys like it, make you guys dance. So, Mike G says he loves the music, so thank you, buddy. So, so yeah. Fresco's going to be the next director of the music video. We got some other people giving you a shout-out. Uh, let me see. Hey, Fresco, I'm actually going to be in the next video. They want to be in the video, so. Oh, okay, so, cool, cool. Uh, goes, um, so another person, Kaylee, they're asking, did you ever find, basically, where are your jet skis? Did you find them? Nope, I only found, I found the Hall of One. The other one's still missing, and I know I'm not going to get it back. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, uh, it's just, I guess, Part of life and part of people living of other people, you know. So mine got stolen. Hopefully in the future I get another one. So. Ask one for Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Yeah, Santa Claus. <laughs> Yamaha, Yamaha Santa Claus. Can you give me a jet ski? <laughs> so uh shout out um H I S E fifty three from SoCal. South uh you know, down there in the west coast. Oh, okay. Um oh talking about uh different places. Uh um, this is why I started watching YouTube because when I when I think of going to a place, I go to YouTube and I type up the you know the, the, the place or location and I look at those people. So this guy that I met is so funny. He says he, uh, uh, Nicaragua from Nicaragua. He watches me over there, and he watched all my soundbar videos. And he was so curious. He kind of didn't really believe how the soundbar is really like that every weekend. And the funny thing is, he took a week vacation to Miami, went to the sandbar. And I guess one of his friends have a boat, and then he came up to me, and he got lucky because he was wondering if he'd be able to see me on the sandbar. So he actually, him and his friend came up, and sorry, I forgot your name. Um, he's big. He's a big dude. He's bigger than me. From Nicaragua? From Nicaragua. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So that's pretty cool that, that, that he got to experience the actual sandbar here in Miami, and he said he loved it. So that's, that, was, that was something nice that happened this weekend, too. So I, I like that one. That's cool, man. You guys don't be afraid. I know he's a big dude. Look, he looks like my, like a security guard, but he's he's a big, big teddy bear. <laughs> yeah, I used to be his security guard. It's when true. He, when it's he true. went on tour. When I went on tour. We're about to do that again. Uh -oh. That'll be fun. So you guys got shout outs from uh, Saludos de Lima, Peru, from Christian. Wow, Lima, salud. Peru. Como estamos, mi gente? Oh, talking about Peru, not Peru, but Venezuela. I was uh, Friday night. Uh, Friday night. That it was. I has. It got a little bit crazy. I forgot to do the video. But I met a lot of people from Venezuela out there at the club. I forgot the name of the club. It was in Brickle. It was nice. You guys came up to me. It was nice. You guys. You know, and oh, it's you funny. about that. You guys were hanging out. Yeah. The thing yeah. is, the funny thing is, those people, I, met, uh, I think it was about like six or seven people that I met. And the funny thing is, none of those people have boats. They just, you know, they like the, the boating environment. Uh, so it was nice because I asked them, yo, so you're going out tomorrow on the boat? And he was like, no, I don't want a boat. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool that. Not yeah, just boating people. Are watching your channel, yeah, so it's nice. Maybe like that, you know, you guys get motivated. Uh, but like I said, you don't have to own a boat. Get a kayak, buy a kayak, rent a kayak. Marco wants talking know. about kayaks. We talked about this last week, but maybe you could tap in. How far is the, uh, the kayak rental to the sandbar? What's the closest one? I think it's Olita River, right? Yeah, Olita River is the closest uh, park and uh, kayak rental. They're not that bad. I think I have, I have never rented one from there, but you know what? I'm going to rent one one day. Well, the problem is summer's almost over for the kids, and I prefer to be on the boat on a kayak on the weekend. But it'll be a nice thing to rent a kayak over anybody that uses a kayak that's watching now or watches the channel. Let me know. Uh, it should be 30 minutes, you know, on a kayak because kayaks don't go that fast. So it'll probably be 20 to 30 minutes from the park to the kayak. You know, you just gotta be. You gotta. You're gonna, you gonna work like, out. You're gonna feel your arms are this big. It's a lot of rowing. It's a lot of current there. Yeah, I, I did it on my own. Not a kayak. I have a six-person um, inflatable, and I did it. Um, and it took me like 20 minutes 
more or less, but I was going kind of fast. Sebastian Gonzalez says, brother, I'd like to know when you're going to Bimini because my family and I would like to join you guys on your trip. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm getting a... <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting a group together uh, soon. Uh, if you want, and Bimini group. Yeah, Bimini group. Woo. And uh, just send me uh, through the email. Email me your 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 information. And what I'm gonna do is those people that I have their information, I'm gonna you know talk contact you guys directly. And it's gonna be a family thing, you know. We could call it the Bimini ride out. Yeah, the Bimini run. The Bimini, Bimini run. The Bimini run. Yeah. So I'm planning. Yes, I'm planning to do that because. Uh, like I said, this weekend I wanted to go, ready to go, and then when I checked the weather on Thursday, it was back. So, so um, Sly Blar, I guess that's a, if I'm pronouncing it right, they want to ask something about your, I guess, Fresco, how does your controls work with the three outboards, uh, but you only have two controls? Oh, okay, well, like you guys noticed, all the motors now are going to no, not uh, fly by wire. Fly by wire means instead of using the cable, like back in the days, because remember, back in the days, you had a cable that controlled the carburetors, and the, from the carburetor switch to fuel injection, then you control a pump and the airflow. But now it's all electronic because now the comp you're controlling actually the computer. The com use your, it's like um, it's like the uh, what do you call it? The, the accelerator in your car. It's not a wire anymore. Now back in the days, it used to be a wire that it pulled from the carburetor. Now it's all resistors and the each. Res I don't want to get technical, but right? it's just computer controlled. It's just a wire telling telling the, the motors to go fast or slow so they have a, a little button that you say synchronize and once you hit synchronize it it, it 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 tries to maintain all three motors or four or five or six motors at the same at the same rpm and at forward or reverse or neutral oh yeah so, that's what uh roland door said the outboards are computer controlled yeah so it's yeah. it's much easier it's much better and now and not not now but you know lately that's why they have even the joysticks because the joysticks it's another computer that's telling the uh, the, com the computers of the motor where to turn and where to go to reverse. So like that, you can actually turn a boat without using the steering wheel even easier. Because normally you have to go one shift forward, one backwards, and then you can turn the boat without touching the steering wheel. Yeah, like a video game. <laughs> Maybe it helps you dock even easier. So those people, I mean, it's expensive to have a joystick, but, and you have to have the newer motor generation, you know, the new generation motors to really do that, but that helps people. Because that's the biggest problem with boaters, docking. Uh, but the joystick just makes it easier, you know, to dock. So, uh, Neshi Faith, they say uh, they enjoy Miami. Awesome. Shout out to LA County. LA, like I. My eye, for your information. The sandbar in Lake Havasu is off the hook, also. Yes, yes. I bought a boat a long time ago from, was it Lake Havasu? No, from Michigan. I don't know. It got shipped down there from, here, from up there here. And then, me being curious, I looked it up. And yes, it's a lot of boating community up there. That was that was pretty nice. Uh, but no, I haven't haven't been there. I would love to. Uh, um, any any more? Cause uh, oh, I'm using yeah, my. Yeah, uh, next time I see you at Planet Fitness, I'm gonna say what up. Oh, okay, cool, man. Oh yeah, there's a few people I met there at Planet Fitness too. Cause I use Planet Fitness or, or uh, you fit whatever you know wherever I'm nearby. I use either or. Uh, yeah. Mark Morgan says, hey, brother, congrats on reaching 190,000 followers. Keep Thank up you. the amazing work. Cheeto Rocks, I downloaded some of your songs. Oh, thanks, bro. Let me see. Um, hey, Fresco. Oh, by the way, remember you said somebody, uh, Lily said, uh, name all your family members? Oh, yeah. name all my family members? No, 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 they did. Oh, okay. Remember they said I could name it? They uh, did all your family members. Oh, they did? Oh, okay. Hey, Fresco, can... Uh, if I'm going to be able to uh, be, in, wait, what does it say? Can you ask Fresco if I'm going to be in a video? He recorded me and my dad at the sandbar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wherever I recorded this weekend at the sandbar that came up to me, I'm going to put you on the video so you can see yourself. And then yeah. you can tell your friends, look, I'm a star now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nightmare Bliss. The Cleveland did look like a really dope spot uh, to get tips in lounge. Uh, South Beach, right? Yep, yeah. That was South Beach. That was a South Beach. To me, that's one of the most popular, uh, I guess, outdoor pool event hotel you want to go to uh, because there's another one but i don't know the name uh down uh, actually up the street but i don't know the name of that one and i've been to cleveland there and it was nice there so it was a, it's a good environment they have a pool this is at night time they don't you, know, you don't really use it but they, it was a the, nice on, the, on that video i gotta correct myself i had so much fun that i said hey guys y'all here on 10th and collins it was 10th and ocean <laughs> oh, okay. but i had such a good time I'm I knew I was in between both streets. Yeah, it, yeah, it's it's right on. Um, well, you can just Google it. You know, you Tent Google it. Ocean, right? Map or whatever. Just put uh, Clevender. I don't know. It was, I think it's resort, right, or hotel, something like that. Uh, I don't really know. 
the actual if it's a resort or hotel, but it's right on South Beach. So I mean, uh -huh. it'll pop up. Mark Morgan says, uh, you know, he's from Tampa Bay. We were recently there with uh, DJ Laz. There was a video. Yeah, you know what? I, and then the video got correct. The Tampa Bay is not the same thing as St. Pete. Cause Saint, we, right. Yeah, because we said oh, it's the same thing. I know. I guess Tampa. Well, yeah, Tampa Bay and St. Pete. They're both on on the bay, but they, I guess yeah. That's like saying you're in Brown County, but in Miami. Yeah. When you say okay, I got so, you. So yeah, yeah. So uh, they're correcting we, me. We, so. I never been out there, but it was fun. We yeah. had a great time. It Shout was out nice. To, yeah. It, it was. I thought it was, it was pretty cool. It was I really played. nice. Uh, let me see. Uh, big fans. Okay, big fans from Chicago. Brian Link. Uh, Lincoln's. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Brian? Brian, thank you for oh, watching. Oh, talking about up north. I met another another uh, another person I met from Canada. He was pretty smart. He saw the videos, rented a, a pontoon, and went out to the sandbar with his friends. And then uh, he came up to me and he says, "Yo, I watch your videos. I'm from Canada, and because of your videos, I made it to the sandbar. So that's pretty cool. That's I, pretty I got cool. a question for you. This is me. Just want to ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're a party guy. You know, I you've been a DJ. You inspired me to do music and stuff. So y'all the party and all this. Now, how come you never? had a pontoon boat because it doesn't look cool like you could really put a lot of people on the thing <laughs> all right well, well <laughs> this is the thing about the pontoon it is a cool boat because it holds a lot of people because basically the boat is square so but the pontoon can't really go offshore uh because it's not made for that and to me right. i like going offshore and another thing well i know now they have really fast pontoons they're sticking 400s on it and they're flying uh -uh. yes they're <laughs> really fast but still uh, you know, I, like I said, I go mostly offshore and uh, pontoons, mostly bay or flat water. You know, that's why a lot of lake, uh, but they are a very comfortable boat. You know, they, they fit a lot of people and it's like sitting in your living room. So you actually hang out. That's why a lot of people want to go to the sandbar and they're going to stay at the sandbar. They go to the pontoon. We got a good question. Um, uh, it's an anonymous YouTuber, but, uh, let me see. Oh, got a phone call. Yeah. And by the way, if you don't know what he's doing, we actually ring in the comments through the computer. So I can answer them back. Yeah, just throwing them so you guys can communicate <laughs> with Fresco a little better. Yeah, because the phone is back. I'm just here to help out. So um, people are asking, what do you think of the weather lately? Well, this is a good setup for your next video, right, with the crazy weather. What do you think of the weather lately? Um, do you think it's a good time to go out to the sandbar? When is it? So you kind of experienced that this weekend, right? Okay, with yeah. Well, weather. one thing, uh, like I said, the meteorologists try to predict the weather, but you can't predict nature. What I do is... Just get up in the morning, look up. If it looks good and it's not windy, just go. And then if you get wet, you're gonna be wet no matter what, you're in the sandbar. Because uh, I've been there, like you guys are gonna see this video. I've been there and it was a bad, bad, rainy situation uh, I yesterday. Think you should post that because people so, get to see the... So, I mean, I, the weather don't really stop me only if I go fishing because I'm gonna be offshore. But if I'm gonna be inland, I don't really, really, I mean, it has to be really ugly. Other than that, if it's raining, the thing about Miami weather, it rains now and within two seconds, it's it's beautiful. So. Oh, I've Crazy. seen it rain across the street and not where I'm standing. Like, no, yeah, when, when we were at the sandbar, I told everybody, look, it's coming. You can see it. The buildings are disappearing and the rain is getting closer and now the boats are starting to disappear. And then it just hit us. And it was, I mean, the drops felt like like BBs. That's how hard it was raining. But it was it was pretty crazy. Mark Morgan says, yo, it's funny that you're talking about pontoons. I'm looking at a tritune uh, that has three hundreds hanging, Whoa. That's <laughs> hanging fast. off the back of it he said uh do you think that would be a good uh purchase or should i just um get a center council well what the, where your boating is going to be like you know that's, that's the main thing where you're going to boat if you're going to go offshore i wouldn't recommend a pontoon but if you're going to stay around yeah. bar hopping yeah you know going to bayside if you're in miami bayside or up up the the for a lot of the um in the coastal if you can do a lot of uh no wake not no wake but two or less idle speed zones. you know go ahead and get a pontoon but if you're planning he to go inshore. Shore, he's gonna be in yeah if you're gonna be in shore you can even go to boca chica on a pontoon because boca chica is about 12 miles off of downtown miami but since it's in the bay it never gets bigger than three you know three footers that's in a windy day but when it's a regular it's normally one or two and a pontoon can handle that with no problem you know so if you're gonna like i said if you're gonna stay in shore a pontoon work for you and you can carry a lot of people and it's comfortable and it's like a hangout boat so yeah that's a good great yeah. suggestions for a future video by turbo uh live 15 he says fresco do more videos on how to maintain your boat so we can all get educated okay um 
that's nice. Um, I, I'm, I'm planning to do that, and that's why I'm trying to take my live stream out on the road uh, because I have uh, you know good friends with Alfonso from Atlantic Marine that he's gonna he's actually uh, you know mechanic. mechanic and he's certified um, what do you call it uh, Mercury and Suzuki. So you guys can have you know I have my knowledge, but with them you know they go to school for it, so you're gonna have more knowledge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post it I guess a few days before. And then when I'm gonna go over there, so you guys have, you know, more, uh, you know, have your questions ready for him, and about the boat and, and maintenance and stuff like that. But yeah, I will try to do my own, main, you know, maintenance and show you guys. Uh, where's Boca Chica from Hollow or Sandbar? You ask. Okay, Boca Chica. Uh, there's two ways to get there. It's about, I want to say, 40 to 50 miles south from sand, from the Sandbar. How so long, how long? Yeah, how long? Would that how long? Take? Depends on your speed, but let's say mostly everybody cruises at 30. I'd say probably take you like an hour or more. Depends how rough the ocean is. But if you go to the end of coastal, it's going to take you longer because of the idle zones. There's a lot of idle zones in Miami to get to Boca Chica. So you estimate yourself an hour, an hour and 30 minutes, going around 30, more or less. But you cruise and enjoy the sights. Yeah. And you, what do you do is you go come out of the Halora Inlet, make a right, go south. And keep going down, keep going down. You're gonna hit Fowey Rock. That's that big tower that I, the last video I did. And then you're gonna see a little island. That's not it. That's Soldier Key. The next island, the big island, you're gonna see a big lighthouse. That's Boca Chica. But be careful because there's a lot of low areas there. So follow the channel, or just keep your eyes open. A good, uh, a good, another suggestion for a good video. And it's something so simple, but yet it could be very difficult because I've seen so many videos online of people messing this up how do a video what was told here to how to launch your boat on the ramp okay yes That's very important they, they, a lot of people ask me this but the reason why i haven't done it is because there's so many people at the boat ramp and usually the security people are trying to hurry you out of there so the line doesn't get backed up that i haven't had the chance to really show and explain the launching of the boat but i'm gonna do it but i, I will have to do it during the weekend i can't do it during the week the weekend, weekend yeah, yeah. yeah because it's they're you know they're just, yeah. everybody's i've, I've been to there. that boat ramp and, and real good guys that, that know how to do their boats they, they want to go in and out in and yeah. out like so the longer you take on oh we got cut off uh, all right sorry about that guys great service here and we're back okay and the cut off <laughs> so uh what we were i was saying like a lot of people want to get their boats in and out very quickly so if you take long on that ramp you get really people get really frustrated yeah. and they tell you to move and another thing that i noticed a lot of people are really uh uh agitated because they have to wait you know instead of just getting it you know irritated or mad at the person in front of you just out for your help like that you could get them out of your way faster and you're really doing something good by helping them move their boat so don't get mad because they're taking long. Just get down and help them. You know, that's going to help you and help them. So, you know, don't, everybody's always mad. Here's a really good question. Outdoors fam says, how do the kids in Ogita like uh, sleeping on the new boat? Do you have any, uh, let me see, do they get seasick or anything like that on the new boat? Uh, no, no. The, problem, the, the, the thing is, we, I try to always stay in the bay when we sleep because in the bay, uh, you don't get waves. So the waves, what makes it a little and then inside uh, inside the cabin everything is amplified so the little waves that you don't hear when you're outside you hear it really loud they in the cabin on the hall right yeah here. but i mean they love it and the thing is the generator and the ac is kind of that's like a wall unit running all the time so you don't you you kind of get hypnotized by the noise and you fall asleep so, so yo leon's about a high fresco <laughs> from tahiti, tahiti in the house. again i guess yuli likes being on the live stream because he He's, he's scratching my legs. He's a you little. You need to see, dog. Yeah, he got, even the dog got wet. That's funny. You're going to see it on the video. Even Yuli got wet because of the bad rain this weekend. He, he, he looked like a, I don't know. He looked crazy. Because Mar Martin Meñaga, saludo de Barranquilla, Colombia, brother. Saludo, man. Saludo, Barranquilla, Colombia. Barranquilla, Colombia. Saludo, saludo. From Tahiti, Colombia's in the house. We got SoCal in the house. We got Washington, D.C. New York is in the house. Who else? We got people from Africa, oh, yeah. India. Somebody is asking, what's the draft of my boat? Uh, I think, if I remember correctly, because I just measure it by, by waist. So I think about three three feet, three and a half, I think. Yeah, because I just jump in the water. And usually, once the water starts reaching my waist. Oh, another, another thing that I see people do wrong at the sandbar. And it helps you not get 
uh, beach at the sandbar. Leave your motors down, not up. Because a lot of people like going to the sandbar putting the motors up. First of all, that's dangerous because your propeller now sticking out of the water and the propellers are sharp, you can cut anybody. But I see people do that anyway. I don't know why they do that. But, I mean, they do that because they think they're going to break the skeg of the motor. But what I do is I put my motors all the way down so when I'm on the boat or on the, walking around, you're going to feel the engine tap the sand. And that's when you know you're getting close. So that's when you actually lift the motor, move the boat forward to a deeper side, and you won't get beached. Because those yeah. people that have the motor sticking up, once you touch, you're 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 grounded. So when he's meaning, explain like when when he says once you touch, he means the bottom of the hull of the boat. So once you touch sandbar, you're gonna get it'll yeah. tip over and you're it stuck. Gets, there. It's hard to move. It gets hard. It gets hard um, to get you know get the boat once the, the boat is beached. You gotta wait for high tide, low tide. So yeah, that's my technique. I put the motors all the way down and just feel when it touches the. The, what do you call it? The sand, and then I, then I move. You're getting a lot of shout outs now. Rudney from Desde La Isla de Curusao. Wow. Derwin, Trinidad, Tobago. Oh, Trinidad. You know How what? You Let's go to Trinidad and do what they call, um, what, what is it? The big festivals? The, um, oh, man, the Trinidad. We need to do carnival. We need to do carnival. That'll be a good video for you. Yeah. Carnival I would love, in Trinidad. Yeah. I would, believe me, I would love to go everywhere that's tropical and it has a beach because that's when we plan on vacation. That's, that's something I try to do every summer. Um, I would love to go there. I would love oh, to go. Oh, here's a good question. Uh, a YouTuber user is asking, do you have to pay anything at Hallover to, uh, to launch? Yes, $17. But I'm going to show you guys a lot of people, and this helps the traffic because now you can pay by phone at Hallover. But if you go to the Hallover office, just purchase a year sticker, it's $216. You don't have to, you know, you, you're, you're, you're good through the whole year. And that and a lot of people are going to the little machine is slowing down the, the flow of traffic. So if you're gonna do a lot of boating, it's even cheaper to buy the app. I mean to buy the, the sticker than purchase every time you go because it's seventeen dollars. So that's right. You know. That's something see, uh, to keep uh, in mind. Someday I'll become a Floridian, but until then, much love from your sandbar brother. Uh thank you, man. Mariquas, mas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. La casa. En la casa. Um, George from Tus uh, Tuscan, great info. They say thank you for thank the you, info. Let me see what else. Uh, what's the draft on your boat? You already answered that. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, Fresco, you need to get a motorbike like that. A motorbike. You'll be a cool biker. <laughs> oh, a motorcycle. Motorbike. Well, you'll be, they say you look. Did you have a bike? Yeah, I had a, a spider, a Canadian spider, that I barely used. I barely used because of greed that tricked me. She told me, buy it, buy it. She tricked me. Because I, I, me personally, I like choppers. I'm, I'm a chopper kind of guy. Really? You, you know, look like one of those guys. I man. like a chopper. And then I went to go buy one, and I took her on a ride, and she got scared. She said it was too unstable. So we tried the spider, and she actually doesn't have to even hold on to me to, um, to, you know, to, be a ride, to be a passenger. So she said, oh, I like the spider. So I took the spider. She probably rode with me about 10 times. Three years. I've seen those videos. Three years, and I had to sell it, well, trade it in for the ski because I was, wasn't riding it. Imagine three years, and I had like 2,000 miles. So imagine that. So real, real big, real big, big shout out. You just got some really love, or some cash love right now. Brenda Wiseman donated $20, $20 for watching you. Wow. This is Thank you, Brenda. Hi from Brenda and Alan from Canada. Love you guys. Oh, yes. How Number you doing? One, Thank always. you. Thank, Thank you. you for all the videos. Yes, yes. You guys, you guys comment on all the videos and even on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Thank watching. Thank you, Brenda Wiseman and uh, Alan from yes. Canada. Thank you. Thank you. I see I see you guys' comment. Yes. Thank you. Damn, right. that's the Acapulco. You're driving me crazy. He keeps scratching my leg. Believe it or not, I don't know if you can see him. Look, he loves being carried like this. I don't know. He's a big baby. I guess he's a big hairy baby. Big hairy baby. So uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, Alejandra, uh, te amo desde Acapulco. Gracias, gracias, te amo. Alejandra. Gracias, gracias. A ver, let me see. I have a dual purpose bike. What is that? Who? Dual, dual purpose, like two people go ride? Oh, no, dual sport. Yes, dual sport. That's pretty cool. A dual sport. I thought of those. I thought of those. You can actually go on the dirt, you know, do off road riding and use it on the street. Those are pretty cool. Believe it or not, I thought about it because I told agree that if I'm getting another bike, it's going to be. A dual sport because like that i go on the street and on the dirt because believe it or not i like water but i also like getting dirty so yeah that's definitely you like my, getting dirty i like getting dirty uh well the funny thing is if i was started youtube earlier in the earlier years you guys would have seen all the crazy videos of me with the kids and the atvs oh, getting the dirty stuff maybe yeah. you can do a throwback thursday 
Well, the, the thing is, I, don't, I didn't do any videos then. So, oh, oh. I, like, if you guys like like uh, off-road stuff, I mean, I used to have another Jeep that I really took it off mudding and stuff like that. But this one, I kind of take care because I don't want to get scratched up. <laughs> but Let me see. Uh, yeah. You guys are the best. Keep doing what you do. Woo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, he goes, that, I guess this guy was re re uh, talking about the, the motorcycle and Ogita. He goes, that's women, LOL. Because my yeah. life changes her mind every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, women tend to do that. But that's good, though. That keeps us sharp and on our feet. <laughs> Saludos desde la Ciudad de México, México. México, gracias, gracias. Estamos con ustedes, México. So let me go, before the time's up, let me go show you guys again the winners of the raffle. And I'm going to go ahead and remember. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm twisting my hand. These are the five winners from the drawing. I want to read them out. Can I read them out? Let yeah, me see. you can read them out. All right, five winners. These are these are handles from Instagram. Yeah, they were no, actually no. A lot of people did it did it on YouTube, did it on my on my on their live thing. So it, it was kind of crazy. So everything that I saw, I just entered everybody. So like, oh, okay. So these are these are these are drawing for people hey, from YouTube, Instagram, yes, everywhere. Facebook. Because okay, I guess gotcha. I guess they didn't understand it or it wasn't clear enough. But it doesn't matter. I entered everybody. So here we go. One of the winners, winners, Outdoor Fam. Yes. Right? Yeah, she she follows uh, Obita too. So Outdoor Fam. Them. Here's another one. Dirty IMP. Oh, yep. snap. Actually, I'm going to have a question. What's IMP? IMP. What's right. that? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, uh, let me see. It's, I guess, I don't know. SEMA. It's SEMA or 28, I think. Yeah, this is the other one. I read them at the beginning of the video, so. And, but I'm going to uh, post them. Lil Clovey. Here's the other one. <laughs> HQ Man 69. Woohoo! Those are the winners right there. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep these and like I said, I'm gonna post it on Instagram, the community YouTube, and on the description on the video. So once you guys see your thing, email me. Email me at djfresco uh, at gmail.com. Email me your shipping information, color if you want a tank top, size, and the hat if you want if you want the black one or the camo the camo the camo blue those are for the winners right for the winners so. all right so real quick uh salud okay saludos de, de boston tenemos mucha gente de boston también mirando shout out to boston gracias, 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 boston. boston uh they're asking what's the what's the cash donation all about question question mark so oh i don't know on uh, youtube there's an op there's an option i know a little bit about this oh, there's right. an option <laughs> I don't. Uh, Fresco doesn't ask for any money from you guys. He just wants you guys to share the videos and enjoy it. So to answer your question of what the cash donation is about, there's a button at the bottom next to a happy face. There's a little square that has a dollar sign on it. If you guys enjoy it, yeah, it's right here. Well, I don't know. What it, what it does is <laughs> if you guys wa like watching this, you kind of just like enjoy it. You want to give, it's kind of like giving a tip. Like, hey, here's $2, here's 50 cents. So some people, some viewers that watch Fresco, I'm a big fan of him and I'm here to help him. So if you enjoy what you see, you kind of donate a little cash or something like that. He does not ask for yeah, it. I don't, he doesn't know. ask for it. He feels weird about it, yeah. but <laughs> YouTube puts the option there and people do it. So oh, it's right. just showing him love. And then I know you feel weird about it, yes. but I have to tell everybody what it is. Yeah, it's like when my skis got stolen, a lot of people told me, uh, go ahead, do that fund me thing, fund me thing. And so many people told me to do it that I did it, but after I did it, I took it down because I felt weird. Uh, because there's so many things really bad going around in the world, especially health-wise, that to me, losing money on a jet ski, I just work harder and make the money. So, yeah, it feels weird when people, uh, you know, donate money or give me money. But, I mean, but thank you anyway. But look, you know. talking about that, Brando Wiseman, they donate. You got to send these people a T-shirt or something. They oh, send you know another what? $20, man. So guys, you know here you go. Hope this helps you out. Thank you guys are awesome. That's yeah, you know what? Go ahead and send me your information. I'll ship you a shirt, a hat, something. Well, you know, we're gonna appreciate. give you a nice care package, uh, yeah. Brenda, for uh, for you guys in Canada. You know. you know, thank you, thank you. But but yeah, so remember, remember to check on the live this on the live stream description uh, for your uh, for the name and in my email. Send me your information and the color you want. And if it's the hat, remember the hat is a camel or the black one. And oh, this the right here. Is this one? This is the camel? The camel one? The blue one. There's a pink one too. Uh, well, no, the, the ones I'm giving is, well, it doesn't matter. Just choose the hat that you want. Uh, there's two hats. Well, choose a hat or a tank top. Let me know and make sure the size, the size. Oh, and uh, people and people ask me, this, these sizes run normal. They're not big, they're not small. I'm a large and this is a large. So, they look cool. you know, so, and then we have, two, you have ones in the back, ones in the front. So, you know. And this is just, this is something that helps me 
support the channel, you know, with uh, with going different places and stuff like that, and gives you guys something, you know, something to, uh, you know, give you guys something to show love for Fresco Channel. So, you know. So shout out right here. You got Rhode Island in the house. Rhode Island and H Town in the house too. Houston. Yep, yep. And um, cool. Where, okay, real quick. I think because you you want to wrap it up, right? Yeah, yeah. It's All right. Quick. Well, real quick, quick question. Where's the hot spots out there? He'll be there next week, and this is mile 303 hot. Okay, hot spot like in what? Miami hot spot? I mean, there's, if you want talking about Sandbar, there's Hallover, Nixon, Monument Island, and the one that you gotta be careful with because there's a lot of jet skiers is uh, La Islita uh, over La Islita. there. La Islita. La Islita. So there's, uh, there's like four places you can hang out at, you know, and Elliot Key. Like Elliot Key is kind of far. Elliot Key is kind of far. It's about yeah. 15, 17 miles away. But you know, what also hot spot. spots? You can tell them about the Clevelander. Oh, the Clevelander, yeah, the Clevelander. Uh, club wise, I mean, there's everywhere. a ton of places. In yeah, Miami. that's just that's just almost the whole, whole southeast coast of Florida. But. Oh, Red Audio Miami, what's up from Hialeah? What's up, what's up, like I got Another H Town. You got a lot of people from Houston watching right yeah, now. Yeah, Shout out to H Town in the house. Yeah, what was the analytics on the US, USA cities? Was it like number one and number two? Number one, I think yeah. it was Houston. Yeah. I don't. I did my analytics on my channel for the United States, and I think Houston was like the number one. Uh, no, no, no. It was Miami uh -huh. and then Houston. H town. Yeah. Sideways. It was. Uh, it was a lot of uh, fans from over there. That's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. But it's one hour, and I'm running out of. I mean, <laughs> out of voice. If you guys notice, but I'm getting out of here, and hopefully, hopefully, next live stream will be a surprise. And if I go to the wherever I go, I'm gonna try to post it before, so you guys have your questions ready. You know, to the depending on the place that we go. Give uh, give your email address so you guys can get the information. People are asking for the email address that you asked for this. Oh, okay. My my, my email address is well, you can find it in every video, but my email address is DJ Fresco One, the number one, at gmail.com. But you can find it in, in, in the video and any 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 video is gonna have my email all the way at the bottom. So remember, check this uh, live streams uh, for your name. Send me your information and what you want. And I'll send it out to you. So thank you guys for watching. Kansas City, Missouri. Last shout out. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye -bye. Next Monday. Peace. Congratulations to all the winners. Bye-bye. I'm running out of voice.